How to leverage fear to improve your health. Welcome to Be Fab, Be You Made Simple, your daily dose of inspiration designed to help you reinvent yourself by optimizing your body and mind. I am Maria Horstman, a health editor and coach, a fitness trainer, a speaker, and an entrepreneur, founder of BeFabBeYou.com. Our episodes are short and will bring you valuable content and practical nuggets for optimal health and fitness that you can implement ASAP. Let's get you to feel fabulous every day. Are you ready? Check out the show notes to one, schedule a free call with me to discuss a plan to take your health to the next level. Two, submit a question to be featured in our Ask Me Anything episodes on Sundays. Connect with me on social media and much more. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you hear, share with your friends and leave it a rating. dive into a health case study during today's episode. Instead, I'm going to share a recording from last year, which I touched upon the phases of change and how to use fear to help us move forward with our health, fitness, and life goals. This is a great segue to the case study coming up ahead. Grab that pen and paper, get ready to kick some tails, enjoy it, and I'll talk to you soon. Have you ever taken fear, whatever that fear is, to take leaps in your life? If you have not, hear me out. You can do wonders of that fear because fear is not something that um, is totally irrational or unnecessary. It actually can be a great motivator for us to do something better and bigger in life. Yesterday, I did a podcast. I was a, I was a guest in a podcast, and uh, the name of the podcast is Breaking Up With Fear. So I'm not going to get into too many details of the podcast because you can listen to it later when it comes live, and I'll share the link. But I, I will say a couple of things that I didn't mention yesterday on the podcast. So in the podcast, I talked about my fear was basically breaking up the fear with uh, my fear of, uh, you know, uh, aging actually without uh, independence and uh, unhealthy, right? With diseases and, and really not ending my life, living my life to the fullest, being incapable or immobile to do what I truly love, especially being alone. And what I mean alone is, you know, without companionship and kids and all that, which for most people, that's not the case. So anyway, I talk about some of the leaps that I took in fears related to, you know, this, this diseases that were important in my head. Talked about the fear that came from, you know, seeing my mom aging and I'm projecting these fears on myself and how my end of life would be. I talk about, um, Fear about losing my independence and what it would mean to me. Fear of leaving my career, which eventually was not part of the process when I started. And I say career in finance, which is a very successful career, uh, to do what I do now. So what I want to talk about it today is um, there is stages of change, right? And I went through those stages as I kind of went from fear fear of those things to actually taking action and taking, you know, from went for the knowledge to the action to eventually help other people. That's what empowered me, right? The knowledge and the action. That's how we feel empowered. A lot of times, you know, we get knowledge, knowledge, and we're surrounded by information, right? And, and that is not really powerful. The power comes when we actually take action. Now, there is multiple phases of this change. And, um, you know, I'm not a therapist, but I, I love to study and read about this. And this five stages of uh, therapy that it's common out there, uh, therapists discuss are the pre-contemplation phase, which is the first phase, which is like a kind of denial, right? You're really, you know, you're in denial of uh, this problem. You might be seeking for help, but really there is an underneath problem and you, you really don't see it. And then there is the contemplation phase and there is the, the preparation phase, the action phase and the maintenance. 
And bringing that to the health and wellness um, and fitness world, which I'm so passionate about, I see I've had clients in all those phases, right? But it's the most transformative ones is the ones who stick to the round. And that's, I was able to change about every aspect of my life because I stuck to it and I had a big why. That's why you hear me talk so much about having a big why, because that is the driver of my emotions, you know, and my actions. And yes, we have roller coasters. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. And we have the ups and downs and we fall apart sometimes. This is part of this change. And if you ever seen a therapist, which I have, and I highly recommend this part of like a coach, you know, a therapist is like a coach. Part of me coaching my clients is to see this kind of transformation and help guide them through it. There are limitations, obviously, what I can do. Um, and uh, how I can guide them. And sometimes, you know, that bound with a therapist can help them break those, those uh, you know, big walls so they can continue the phase. And a lot of times just walking to a coach who holds you accountable, give you the guidance, will do the job, right? But I had clients who came with in total denial with the conversation like, no, 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 no. And eventually, step by step, when you guide them, they start seeing the answer. And let me tell you, uh, people a lot of times are looking for this quick fix. There is no quick fix on the on the road of really meaningful change, right? We got it. We got to understand that we're going to go up. We're going to fall, and every time we fall, that what is called failure, which is really not failure, is a learning opportunity. We got to take a step back and say, hey, how do I improve from here? And sometimes that's the benefits of having a coach with you to help you to stay aligned and on track, right? So know that these phases that I mentioned, they're real. And we have to kind of, you know, understand that we're going to go through them. And we sometimes don't know which phase we are in. The the consistency of every day waking up saying, I'm going to get closer to that goal and having a support mechanism to help you get there is indispensable. Yesterday in the podcast, you know, one of the uh, the items that one of the, the the parts that we discussed about is surrounding ourselves with those individuals, right? Because I went through this phase of kind of you know reevaluation my reevaluating my relationships, you know, which is part of this preparation in action for change to reevaluate re these relationships. Uh, how do I add value? How they add value? And how did they support my overall goal? And this is not a short term goal; it's a long term goal right? Which was breaking down my fear. So by taking action towards, you know, building and sustaining a healthier lifestyle that I feel empowered that, hey, I'm doing my best and I continue to grow and explore different ways to stay on track. It is indispensable that uh, you and I build those relationships that is going to support us. A lot of times folks are not surrounded by those relationships and it's really, really challenging to stay on track. So there is going to be in, in this part of phase, there is going to be ups and downs in that. And you're going to realize that, you know what, this might not serve me well. What can serve me better? Right. And I think that there's a lot of fear about the social impact uh, in relationship impact and so on when people really want to change their lifestyle and health. Trust me, I mean, you're going to, maybe you are going to change in that respect if you're thinking long term of your health. Um, and your relationships are going to change, but they're going to change for the better. It's not like you're getting rid of everybody in your life. You know, you are going to treat them differently. OK, um, and I know that from my personal experience, the time that you're going to give to certain relationships are going to be more or less. Or you're going to branch out because you are so driven to that whatever goal is that you have that you're going to bounce, you know, you're going to bounce into it and you're going to meet new folks that you're going to feel like, wow, this is powerful. This is the tribe and so on. So I just want to talk about that today because these stages of change are real and um, there is no quick fix, folks. We got we to gotta be just aware of them 
and notice that, you know, support is going to be part of the process and maybe a coach like myself or somebody else can help you through it. Alone is pretty tough. I'm not going to say that is impossible, but we are not, we're humans and we need the connection and we thrive when we're able to, to discuss, when we're able to, you know, to, to have that touch, that connectivity uh, of others that are aligned in that same mindset, right? So if you have any questions, do not hesitate. My name is Maria Horstman, your health and wellness and fitness coach at BFABU.com. Know that. You can do this when you want badly enough. Thanks for listening to the BFAB BU Made Simple podcast. Can you do me a favor? If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and leave it a rating. It helps the podcast and I really appreciate it. If you're wondering where to start, head over to my website linked in the show notes to sign up to receive encouragement tips and strategies to maximize results. While you're there, download a free health guide to get you started today. If you're looking for a coach and trainer to help you optimize your weight, body, and health, get on my calendar. Let's discuss your goals, establish a custom plan, implement it, and celebrate your results. Together, we can do this. Find the link to schedule a free energy audit strategy session also in the show notes. Connect with me on social media. I would love, love, love for you to let me know that you're listening to the show. Also see the show notes for the links. In addition to a qualified healthcare practitioner, it's important that you have someone in your corner who is in for you and will help you to plan and stay on track implementing your goals. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll this boat. I will see you on the next episode of BFAB BU Made Simple. Just a reminder that this podcast is for educational purposes only. This podcast is not a substitute for health care by a doctor or other qualified medical professionals. This podcast is provided on the understanding that it does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services.